<laughs> it's that time of the year where it's time to put up the Christmas lights. Two years ago, I got tired of the chance of falling off the ladder and Royce was super unimpressed that I didn't fall off the ladder and I chose to put on some permanent accent lighting on my house. I ended up with a company called Jellyfish. If you guys wanna revisit that experience, put the card in the upper right hand corner of the video. I will say right off the bat, the results were amazing and the benefits of permanent accent lighting is endless. Now you can choose pre-configured settings in their phone application or you can customize your own, leaving you with an endless combination of options. Now I did have some concerns considering the tracks are installed in the soffits permanently and would technology change in the next 10 years, leave me with a little bit of FOMO I didn't go with another company and also would the company update the application? Now, the nice thing about this style lighting is you can't tell it's there from the road. If you're just a passerby, you're really not gonna know that it's there, but once you know it's there, you kinda know that it's there. It's this tracking that I have all over my house, and it's got these little tri-LEDs on the inside. Now, I chose Jellyfish Lighting two years ago because they I felt like they were ahead of the game. They came out with this tri-LED puck, which means I was getting three LEDs to the competitor's one LED per individual area, which also meant I was going to get more lighting out of it. Now, my bill has been an additional, I want to say, maybe five, ten dollars per month running these every single day and i gotta say for a monthly fee especially since i use this as accent lighting every single day it's been more than worth it for me now you can just see how well these blend in especially on my shed now over the past two years i haven't had any mechanical failures which i'm kind of sad about because jellyfish does warranty it for a certain amount of time but I was really hoping I had a chance to kind of splice into the system to see how difficult it would be to repair. Now on paper, this isn't rocket science. You literally splice one end, patch it into the other end, and ideally you could be good. But this is one reason why the track system didn't bother me whatsoever. You just remove one of the screws, drop track, replace, and you're done. Now here we are about 20 minutes before sunset and you notice the lights are on and this brings me to my favorite feature that Jellyfish has to offer, which is the scheduler. I can literally schedule the lights to come on however many minutes before sunset that I want, whether it be 5, 10, 15 minutes, and it actually happens and the lights do come on. Son, what are you doing with a Merce? I don't know. Couldn't afford anything nicer. Well, you're in luck, son. Exter sponsored this video. Now is a fantastic time to ditch that bulky wallet and get into an Exter. Just like your bulky wallet, Exter wallets hold up to 12 cards of bills. Come with an expandable aluminum backplate. Not only do they have a slim profile, but accessing your cards is super fast at a click of a button. And it comes with built-in security by blocking RFID signals to prevent wireless theft. And for those forgetful people out there, you can purchase their tracker card to make it unlosable. So dish the bulky wallet and use the code GINJA for up to 55% off. Now, if you got a chance to watch my video from two years ago when I did the unboxing and the first review of this system, I had a few concerns. The system wasn't super responsive when it came to the apps. And also there was no indication when you switched programs. And I'm happy to say, say that that is no longer the problem. Now you can see as soon as I push the button, it has a green indicator and everything is changing super, super fast. And they actually changed to a, what they call a cloud based system. So now I can be in Mexico, I can be in Brazil. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I can change my program from wherever. And this is the actual cloud operating system that I'm using right now, even though I'm on my local area network. Now the odd thing that they did, and I don't quite understand the why behind it, but they ended up doing a in network app which they call the designer app, and then they have their cloud-based app. But there is something convenient about that that I'm going to talk about later in the video. Now, if you ask me what my favorite part about the system is, apparently I'm old now, and I really enjoy the accent lighting. That's probably my favorite thing, is just 
having this on all the time and I use it every single day. You can program each and every single individual LED on the system. Now, the way that I have it set up, I've got two controllers and the nice thing is, is on the zones tab here, it's going to allow me to create different zones. So I've got my dormers on one zone, I've got above my kids' bedrooms on another and the benefit of doing this is during school, my son gets agitated after about 9, 10 o'clock, where I don't necessarily want to turn the entire system off because I like the accent lighting for security purposes. So that allows me to turn off just his area. Now, the other thing is, is this is extremely reactive on this system. So let's go over to my accent lighting, right? I want to go back to white like we've had it. Uh, it's got pre setup areas and there are a ton. We're talking over over a hundred of these different preset uh, items. We've got everything from holiday settings. Uh, July 4th is always a banger. I love this one. You'll notice uh, it really, really lights up the sky. <laughs> if you wanted to land the space shuttle there in my front yard, they're going to know exactly where to land. Now, some of the more special effects that we have, and these are all new. It's the stacker program. It's actually pretty cool. Um, we've got Green Comet. You've got uh, my personal favorite, which is the three worms. This reminds me of the uh, worms.io. Now, I think the coolest part about this is, is I didn't have to pay anything extra for this. I paid the one-time fee, and this is kind of what I was trying to drive home on the reason why I decided to invest in a company like Jellyfish, because I knew that in the future, we were gonna have all these updates. Now, the downside is, at one point, my personal opinion is, is the controllers that I have, they're gonna be out of date. I don't feel like the lighting system itself will be out of date for quite some time. I think it's gonna be a very long while before there's something different that I'm really going to want. This system was more of a classic look that was extremely vibrant and that's kind of what I was going for. The other special effect that I really, really enjoy is the Halloween setting with the lightning controller on it. It's got just enough of a character to it. And when you get the fogger out coming out the front door, it looks incredible. And the one thing about it, like I said, you can control everything on this system. If I wanna turn the lightning up and give myself a, a seizure, I can do that. <laughs> if I want to speed up the process, I can do that. If I want to take the lightning down a little bit or even put it to close to off, I can. If I want to take the brightness down, down, I can do that. If I want to take the brightness back up, I can do that. This system allows me to control everything. But at the end of the day, I will say 90% of the time that I use this, it's for the accent lighting and I really enjoy the classic look. It provides me and my family a lot of light at night, especially in the yard. My kids can go out, they can play tag. And during the winter with the sun going down at about 4.30 p.m., this has been a saving grace. And the light, when it's hitting off the snow, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Now, the other thing about the system I absolutely love is the scheduling system. It allows me to choose whatever lighting that I want, but I can also go through here and add single events. So my favorite NBA team is playing and I really wanna piss the neighbors off. I just blaze my colors and uh, it's been a fantastic feature. Also, when it comes to holidays, it will change the settings. Now, if, if I could ask the developers to do something very simple, have a setting to automatically do that. Holiday light setting, bing, and it just puts on the holiday lighting for St. Patty's Day, Easter's, Halloween, Christmas. I feel like that's an easy ask, something very simple to do. 
Now, when it comes to having any catastrophic failures with either the hardware or the software, I've actually had two issues, but none of them were actually related to the LED lightings themselves. One time, this was about a year and a half ago, one of my controllers was not connecting to the local area network, the Wi-Fi, and I simply just had to do a hard reboot on that, which wasn't too difficult. The other issue I had was just this last Halloween, there was a firmware update. I waited to Halloween to do it, and apparently everybody else did too. And it, and the system for the first time actually had a crash and a failure. I called tech support. They were super kind about it. They just had to reboot my app. Here was the odd part. The Jellyfish system actually has two software applications. One is for your internal Wi-Fi system, and one is for the cloud-based system. My local area network application had no problems. I was still able to do what I want to do with the lights, no problem. It was just the cloud base. So I called tech support. They ran me through a few steps to get it rebooted and reassociated with my account. Bada bing, bada boom, no more issues. But aside from those two things, over the last two years, I feel like that's pretty good. Now I know a lot of you guys out there are quick to do the math and this system at 180 linear feet with two controllers was well over $5,000. And the real question is, if I had to do it all over again, would I spend the money? Now this is a very complicated question because technology has changed a lot today and there is a lot more choices out there. But the short answer is yes. I would reinvest in this system even with the shortcomings because the company has been very reactive to the updates and I really enjoy the look that the jellyfish has provided. Now with the new LED rope lightings and everything that's come on the market, I still feel like this has more of a a timeless look to it. It's got a lot of vibrancy to it and the colors are deep and rich. About the only thing I really wish that it had was a true white LED. And I would say the one system that's got the four LEDs to it has really piqued my interest. But what I can tell you is with all new companies out there, they're going to struggle keeping up with the software demands. As far as the biggest question that I get and see online is can the system sync with music? Now, from what I've been told, that's priority number one on their list of updates. Yes, I know that if you have a six year degree in computer science that you would know how to do Raspberry Pi and set all this stuff up yourself and that you could save yourself some money. But for the average person, the average Joe, this is a fantastic way to do it where the liability is on a company. This concludes my two year update of the Jellyfish lighting system. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Till next time guys, we're slaying exterior lighting. <laughs>